New at five, a bear cub left at a pet carrier at Bear Lake Tahoe is now an orphan. Mm -hmm. It's one of those stories that makes you do a double take, right? Maybe C10's Devin Truby looks into what kind of life the cub might have going forward. This orphan bear cub was dropped off in a pet crate at South Lake Tahoe Bear League the Saturday before Mother's Day, found with this handwritten note. Dear Bear League, please help Moses. He doesn't have a mother. Um, its future is now in human hands, which is never an ideal situation. The cub is estimated to be about two or three months old. It's now at Lake Tahoe Wildlife Care Center, a licensed rehabilitation center. Normal human um, interaction, minimum human involvement. We want to keep this bear as wild um, as possible, you know, the best um, tool, the best survival strategy any wild animal can have is to be fearful of people. So we don't want this animal to get accustomed to people. Peter Tira with Fish and Wildlife says the bear will be kept on a natural diet and taught to forage. They hope it can be released back into the wild once it's older. They want to share this message with the public. That it's never a good idea, no matter how well intentioned, for the public to be out collecting wildlife. You know, we do not know in this instance if the mother bear perhaps uh, was around nearby. You know, it's just hard to know. It's impossible to know. And so by collecting this particular bear, you know, no matter how well intentioned, um, we may have, you know, jeopardized this bear's life and its ability to live as a wild and free bear. Fish and Wildlife is not currently investigating how the bear came to be dropped off at the Bear League and does not expect foul play. They say the leading cause of orphan bear cubs is their mothers being hit by cars. Devin Truby, ABC 10. Again, Fish and Wildlife says please don't interact with the animals. Give them a call instead. They do check messages 24-7.